We are. We about to unleash. We about to give the truth to the old school, middle age. We about to unleash. The biggest trick of the devil was to convince us that church and state should be separated. But watch this. Scripture reveals that God's kingdom principles are meant to govern all aspects of our life, including politics. As believers, we are called to ensure that earthly laws, watch this, and leaders reflect the will of God, uniting the spiritual and political realms under his divine authority. By doing so, we align with Jesus' teaching that God's will should be done on earth as it is in heaven. And I'm going to prove it to you through scripture. I want you to open up your Bibles because the biggest trick that the devil could have told you is to stay out of politics. The biggest trick the devil could have told you is that it does not matter. It does not make a difference. Don't mix the state with the church. Don't mix the governor with the church. Don't mix the, the, the politics and all of that. Stay out of it. And the reason behind it was somebody came up with the idea that the governing systems that's supposed to be in place by God should not have any input on what churches do and what religions people have and what they serve that is far from the kingdom of God and his principles. So I want you all to go ahead and I'm about to take you through scripture because I want you all to follow me with this. We get ready to uncover some things. Hopefully this will give you a clear understanding. All right. So I want you all to go to Matthew 28, 18. The first point we're going to understand is that Jesus has authority over both heaven and the earth. And Matthew 28, 18, this is what Jesus declares. Watch what he says. He says, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Okay. He says, this authority is not limited to just our personal lives, right? Or just our spiritual gathering. It extends in every realm, including politics, including government. If Jesus is Lord, and we say this as believers, with over 270 million people out of the 300 plus million people that are in the United States, over 200 million profess to be Christian. So listen to what it says. If Jesus is Lord over all, how then can we believe the lie that his influence should not extend into the laws of the land? You got to understand something. Jesus' authority is comprehensive, covering every aspect of our lives including our governance now watch this the prayer that jesus prayed y'all remember the prayer our father watch this which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thou kingdom come thou will be done what in the earth as it is where in the heavens let me prove something to you right here so jesus taught us the prayer thou kingdom come thou will be done in earth as it is in heaven this is not just a prayer watch this for our personal righteousness but a call for God's divine order to be established here on earth. God's will, his principles, and his laws, watch this, are meant to guide not just our hearts, but the nation as well. Y'all remember the pledge? We pledge one nation under God. Look at the Pledge of Allegiance that we stand up to. One nation under God. So how do Obama get the opportunity, because he started this, to stand up and say, we are no longer a Christian nation, but we are many, many different religions under this nation. Oh, no, 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 no. That was the first trick of the devil. He made somebody that looked like the skin that you were. Get up there and tell you a false narrative and begin to open the gate that we see. Wide is the gate to destruction. Very broad is the gate to destruction. The Bible says many go in that gate. He said very narrow is the path to life. It's called the straight gate. And he said only few find that path to life. Obama opened up something that we're seeing now taking place through the Biden administration. But I want y'all to catch this because this ain't about being biased. This ain't about choosing a side. But you got to choose God's side if you are on God's side. Listen to this. Now, I want y'all to understand something, right? So he talks about that the principles that's in the kingdom must take place right here in the earth realm. So y'all got to understand. So the idea that we can separate God's kingdom from our earthly laws is a deception. The kingdom of God is not just a future reality. It is a present one that must be reflected in the laws in the politics. Now listen to God's command to obey his authority that was established here. Go to Romans. Romans chapter 13, 1 and 2. I took good notes for y'all because I want y'all to get this. 
It tells us that all authority comes from God. All authority comes from God. And those in positions of authority have been placed there by him. I want you to follow him. This means that the laws of the land, when aligned, when aligned with God's word, are to be respected as they reflect his will. But this also means that those who create and enforce laws, should be kingdom minded. Oh my God. Let's stop right there. Right. Ensuring that what is legislated aligns with God's principles. If we separate God from governance, we risk endorsing laws that go against his command. And this is where the enemy gains a foothold. Now these are my notes because this is what God revealed to me. Okay. I'm going to stop right there because we're going to talk about the danger of division. And we're going to talk about Christ's headship over all things. Understand something. The enemy has tricked believers to believe that the governor and the church does not go together. But God says that it is his leaders that's supposed to be put in place. So those of us as believers, we are supposed to be voting his leaders in place. Now watch how the trick happened. So the enemy tells the church to stay out of the government business and the government to stay out of the church business. So what happens is this. The Bible tells us that we are to obey the laws of the land. And so what happens is because God's people be begin to exit the governor system. And now we got devil for folks that are in the governing system. And so now the devil said, let me be smart right here. I'm going to put my people in control of legislation. I'm going to put my people in control of the policies. I'm going to put my people in control of laws. And then God's people, with their lack of understanding and their deception, deception that has happened to them, they're going to have to follow the evil laws that I put in place. So we as the people of God are supposed to put godly people in position to make sure that Jesus left that one piece of power for prayer. Is that God's will that is in the kingdom has to happen in the earth realm. And the only way that happens is where we allow Jesus to be ruler over all things. And that we put people in position that are kingdom minded. What do we have today? We have a mess. Because we have folks who is trying to separate God. God in government. God from the, uh, from the, from the schools. God in everything. And it's totally a deception from the enemy. Now watch this. The danger of division. So we are dividing kingdoms right now. We're trying to say God's kingdom over here and the world's kingdom is over here. This is just a straight setup. This is a setup for end time, y'all. This is a setup. I want y'all to know, you ain't saved, you better get saved. Watch with this. So Jesus warned us in Mark chapter 3, verse 24 to 25. He says that a kingdom that is divided against itself cannot stand. That's what we're seeing happening. We're seeing Republicans and Democrats because these are kingdoms that are divided. This is God versus the left. Then Jesus says, I'm going to sit on what? The right hand side of the Father. Y'all better understand this. I'm telling y'all. Y'all better see what's going on right here. Watch what he says. He says, watch this. So he says, um, the enemy's strategy has been to convince us that faith and governance should be separated, leading to a division that weakens our society. When the laws of the land are divorced from God's law, watch this, the result is moral decay and chaos. And what do we see? Moral decay. There are no morals. There are no values. You're talking about people with mental disorders that cause themselves other than what they are, other than a male or female, than what God has made them. That is chaos. That is mental disorder. We see this thing taking place right now. Why? Because we got governor that's trying to, well, government that's trying to divorce God's law from their policies. Watch what's happening. He says in Proverbs 29, 2, he says, tells us when the godly are in authority, this is your word. When the godly are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked are in power, they groan. And there's a groaning that is happening because we see wickedness that look like us, that seem like they us, that act like they us, that proclaim to be us. But we see a groaning going on because we know something is not wrong. We know that the, that the change of guards has happened and we know that godly authority is starting to, to leave government and starting to be kicked out so that the enemy of this world, the God of this world, the prince of the air is starting to bring folks in to mimic his agenda. Watch what happened. He says, we must be vigilant, ensuring that those who lead us are rooted in God's truth or else we are left with a divided kingdom 
doomed to fall. But hold on, watch this. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 22. It reminds us that God has put all things under the authority of Christ, making him head over everything for the benefit of the church. This means that Christ's lordship is not limited to the spiritual, but extends to the political as well. We cannot listen to me, people of God. It's more of us than it is them. You got to understand this. God says, if I be for you, who can be against you? He said, it is more of us than it is them. And we got to stop being divided. This is about God's principle. This is about the kingdom of God. This is about what, the, what, 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 what Jesus left us with. When he says, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, what? Thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. So listen to this. Let us ensure that those that are in power are led by kingdom principles. For only then can we truly see God's justice and peace reign in our land. We may reject the lie of separation and embrace the truth that God's kingdom is meant to influence every corner of our lives, including the laws that govern us. It's simple, y'all. So we truly understand and we truly know that what is taking place right now is not of God. All of this endorsing of all of these laws for the ABC community, all of these things that are happening, we know that this is not of God. I wanted to bring y'all the Pledge of Allegiance, right? Because <laughs> I wanted y'all to see this. Would y'all get up here and say this? Y'all get up here, they make everybody stand up to say this Pledge of Allegiance. But when it comes to really obeying the Pledge of Allegiance, somehow we forgot. We say these words, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States. And I don't got to read this. I'm just going to read it to y'all. The United States of America. And watch what we say. And to the republic for which it stands. The republic. Republic party. <laughs> they stand for God. Which the republic for which it stands. One nation. Under God. Indivisible. With liberty. And justice for all. One nation. How do we have a Democratic president, which was Obama, who started this, and started to say that we are not just one nation. We are we got many nations, Jewish nations, Muslim nations. We got Buddhist nations. We got all these nations and all these gods coming in here. So we are just no longer a Christian nation. The devil is alive. You don't bow down to other nations. Just like when you go over there to Muslims, they'll destroy you. If you come over there trying to preach any other gospel, but the one that they have by the Quran. Because it's disrespectful to come into somebody's home. Like come into my home. And I tell you I'm a believer. And you come into my home and you start preaching to my kids about being a Buddha. About being anything else. Hindu. Whatever. And you're going to see in my house it says as for me in my house we serve the Lord. It's be disrespectful to come into my home and preach anything else. But the gospel truth. That I believe for, that I live, that I breathe, that I believe in. That is the same thing that is happening right now when it comes to this politics and it comes to this presidential election. Somebody has dropped the ball. Y'all go back and read the scripture. Y'all go put your hands up to the Pledge of Allegiance. And we have said it again. One nation that's under God. So anybody that comes into our nation, they must submit to the authorities of our God, of our kingdom, of what God has included in here what God says we stand for we do not compromise our belief and our values we don't take God out of the schools because we got other religions coming into school talking about we're going to offend them absolutely not you either bow down to our God or you freely serve your God but we do not make preservations for you to do so because we are one nation under God and if that means that the party that you once hooked it up with and connected with is not no longer serving kingdom purposes and God's principles. And that's the party that you must drop. That's the party that you must divorce. That's the party that you must leave. And you must join those who are in agreement with God because a house that's divided against itself cannot stand. Until next time, this is your sister Trigger Preacher, also known as God's Girls. Do not believe the trick of the enemy. It's time for y'all to get up young and old and understand that the church, we are the governing agents. We are the ambassadors. We are the one that God has told us to come in here and take over the church. If you are a kingdom kid, if you are a kingdom woman, if you are a kingdom man, get in alignment. It's time for takeover. 
It's time for us to take over and overthrow this government that's trying to come up under one nation that's under God. <laughs> y'all better get it and get it fast. Make sure y'all leave y'all comments. Make sure you like, you subscribe, and you share this video because it's time for takeover. God bless. Trigger Preacher, also known as God's Girls. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video everywhere. God's Girls all over the world.